Hello students, how are you today? Uh, yet another video. I'm going to do another video here. Uh, continuation of uh, struck, just a bit more before we move on to the next chapter. So, uh, see if uh, there's anything I can do after this uh, in order to get the next chapter in. But uh, this is the last part of a uh, structure that might not be in your slides, but I'll be adding up later and uh, you can actually see how it is being done. Okay. So without further ado, let's go straight to the um, online GDB, okay, and see uh, if uh, we can get you to understand how to do nested structures, okay. Today we're going to talk about nest nested structures, which means a structure within a structure, okay. So let's go back to the main. Hopefully you can see what I'm saying here, okay, right. So this is from our previous program, okay, from uh, structure part one, part two, part three. And you can see that uh, I've changed. Uh, remember the last one that I've been using uh, pointer, okay, but I've uh, changed it back to dot operator for all this. And if I run this program around, so there will be no problem, okay. Everything will be fine, as you can see. All right. Okay. So this is how it's being done. Okay. So I've changed the, 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 the array students to three. So that's easier for us to demonstrate how the program is going to work. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, okay, here, right. Uh, I have a, a slight change that I'm going to do here because I have not done it in the previous one. It's start one. So if you pre in the previous, uh, in the previous, uh, tutorials, uh, part one, part two, and part three, you will realize that, um, it's all start one, but this is actually not correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change a bit of uh, the syntax here. Okay. So instead of start one, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I plus one, just like here. Okay. So it will display student what. Okay. And then maybe a space. Okay. Right. Then student name. Uh, I'm going to do one maybe like this, okay, then student name and student Q1, uh, I'm going to add in a comma, right, in every one of this, student Q1, okay, so midterm, and that's it, so let's check. C out student depends on the number of student okay one two three and so on uh double put, uh sorry uh colon right and then student dot name comma student dot q1 comma student midterm comma and student h and then next line so run this program no problem whatsoever or do we have any errors no all right everything is fine good okay now so we will be talking about structure uh nested structure structure within a structure okay uh given a scenario as you can see here we have type def struct student and then we have string name float q1 float midterm and integer h but remember our quiz we have um we're supposed to have uh, four quizzes correct we have two best of four right two best of four right okay but uh, let's say we take three quiz, okay? Three quizzes here, okay? But here I only have quiz one, right? But I have three quizzes in reality, okay? What I can do is actually, sorry. What can I can actually do is this. I'm gonna have float Q2 and I can have float Q3, which then I can ask from here, uh, see in student I dot Q2 C in student i dot q3 right to uh, satisfy all my requirements here but there's another way to do it okay and we call it nested structure which means we have a structure within a structure so what we can do is first of all all these three quizzes i'm going to cut okay and i'm going to put in a brand new structure and i call it type def same thing if you can see here type def okay name space and let's name our structure as quizzes you have the two curly braces and a semicolon and say i give it uh, i give the alias 
or structure type as QQ, just like ST. So for type def struct student, okay, I have the alias of ST. For type def names, uh, sorry, type def um, struct, much apologies, quizzes, okay, and then I have QQ, right, which is the alias of ST, right? And here, I'm going to fit in all my three quizzes. So I have float Q1, float Q2, and float Q3. Okay, float Q1, float Q2, and float Q3. Okay, and here, right, instead of having just Q1, okay, what I can do is I can use QQ to declare a new structure variable. So QQ, I'm going to call it quiz, right? And you know that if I declare QQ quiz, okay, so quiz will uh, can access three different values, which is Q1, Q2, and Q3, right? ST stud, which is a structure variable array that can access name, quiz, midterm, and age. Inside struct student, okay, quiz can access Q1, Q2, and Q3. And how do we go about this? Okay, very simple. Okay, so enter your quiz one, this part, okay, right? Previously, we have student I dot Q1 because Q1 was uh, part of um, the uh, uh, variables uh, declared in structure student, right? But now, okay, we have QQ quiz. So what we do is we have struct I dot quiz, then dot Q1. You see? Double access, okay, using the dot operator. From student I, okay, student, start I, access quiz and quiz access q1 we can do the same for the other two quizzes right therefore i can have quiz 2 where i have start i dot quiz dot q2 start i dot quiz dot q3 okay and that is how we manage it okay so same thing here if i would like to display okay everything again i'm gonna have another tree so i'll be having quiz.q1 start i.quiz.q2 and start i.quiz.q3 Okay, let's see if I can, uh, I can show you the whole code. Okay, here, right, here you can see, right? Okay, so Q, Q2 and Q3. All right, so this is nested structure, but we have a problem here. I'll show you why, okay, right? If I'm going to run this program, I'll be having an error, okay? There we go. Okay, we have a couple of errors here, but the most important one is this one, qq.quiz1. Here's the thing. When you want to do nested structure, it is very important that, okay, the structure that you create, okay, uh, and to be part of a data member of another structure, it has to be declared first. Like for example, type def quizzes, it is declared after student. But then within student, you actually declare one of the stru uh, structure structure member to be QQ quiz, right? And therefore, I have to actually move this up here because you have to always declare, right? The struct for quizzes before you can actually create a data member for struct in that structure. Okay, so now I'm going to run the program again. 
and there we go enter st 